Hi, everyone. This is Nicole. I am the chair elect for the New England SCC. Um, thank you to everyone for joining us today. Um, as you just heard, we are going to be, we are recording this and we'll send it out as soon as it's available. Um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat or you can hold off to the end um, and we can, we'll field your questions then. Um, today, I would like to introduce, and I told her I was gonna go with her short, with the short, Tembe from Sarah Bell. Um, she's the International Business Development, Development Manager and co-head of the commercial department at Sarah Bell Fine Ingredient Chemicals, excuse me. The Americas, Asia Pacific, and Turkey are her regional focus areas. Her career journey started as lab technician. Thereafter, she fell in love with the personal care industry after joining one of the leading consumer care brands in South Africa. Her curiosity led her to the fine chemical distribution industry, whereby she transitioned from the lab to the chemical supply chain. Shortly thereafter, she flowed into the external sales and product management. She's a qualified analytical chemist with 16 years of commercial experience, ranging from technical support, business development, key account management, and product management within the chemical industry. She is passionate about customer centricity and relationship management and believes that a touch of humor and empathy is required to build long lasting relationships in this aspect. And she does have a sense of humor, everybody. <laughs> She's graduated with a cum laude in management development through Gibbs Business School, partakes and sits on in on the IBA, the SCSR committee, the PR committee for the South African SCC division, COSCHEM South, Af South Africa, and is currently pursuing her MBA through Gibbs Business School. Tembe, the floor is yours. Wow. Thank you, Nicole. A uh, very flattering intro. Sheesh. If I had known that it was so flattering, I would have turned off my <laughs> video to avoid the blushing. But Thank you very much and welcome everybody to Sarah Bell's Sustainable Sustainability presentation. This presentation is basically going to focus on our business lifestyle story. And it's quite important as we talk about sustainability to ensure that people and the market and consumers understand the decisions that we make on a daily basis that define our business lifestyle. So let's start from the beginning. Cerebel was founded in 2001 as a manufacturer of wax-based raw materials for the personal care industry. Now, this focus, probably the first half of the birth of Cerebel, so the first 10 years, the biggest focus for us was to ensure that whatever product that we actually uh, produce has high quality and is of high performance. And that's why we tend to say that we offer skin loving, high performance ingredients that are really there to enhance and to benefit your formulations. Um, we don't say this lightly, it's something that we take very seriously. And this is what the story will basically define in terms of the decisions that we make to ensure that we offer such ingredients. In achieving performance and achieving really providing these skin loving ingredients, we hope that we can use industry as a leverage to positively impact the communities that uh, we serve and through transformative economic upliftment and sustainable development initiatives, we don't really just provide sustainable products, but we actually provide sustainable initiatives that help for the sustainability of all. How do we do that? Probably the first point of call is to look at our values Something that actually came into light more strongly and more prominently in 2020, I think when the world goes through a crisis, that's the best time to actually reflect on really what you hold of value and really to define exactly the type of business that you want to be. So here we really reflect on not just only the regulatory uh, compliance and the values that really speak to integrity and excellence, but we ensure that the products that we offer to the market are biodegradable, vegan, marine, cruelty free from animals, preservative free. Uh, the only ingredient that has preservative is actually a water-based extract, GMO free and all our natural products have Cosmos approval. 
Now it's pretty easy to say from here that, okay, maybe Cerebral is actually just an all natural business. Actually, we are not. Uh, our history stems from the FT wax manufacturing where we offer safe synthetics that actually behave in a very sustainable way. It's these values that basically help define the business lifestyle that we call sustainable sustainability, because we don't only just look at our values from an internal point of view, but how these values can actually have great impact in the decisions that we make for the betterment of all. Now, when we say betterment, we don't really necessarily just speak of products, which we will get to, but what I'm excited to share with you is just a touch of what we mean in terms of making choices that define your business lifestyle. In front of you is actually some success stories that come from our choices. Uh, the first one being, especially with 2020 being a crisis that we all can agree to, that we have experienced together because it had such disruptive um, uh, impacts around the world. But the biggest thing that we face in our country is youth unemployment. It's actually quite devastating and scary numbers. We did a post last year just to make, just to focus a little bit on that aspect because it's really an initiative that as a country is a huge challenge. And as Cerebral, if we are going to be aligned with active citizenship as our value, then we need to actually make the choices accordingly. We partnered in 2019 with a nonprofit organization called Harambe, which basically is aimed at um, alleviating or at least assisting in reducing these high numbers of youth unemployment. One of the success stories, and there's many are more, so I do implore you to please check our LinkedIn page where we do share these stories with the market and our stakeholders and our partners. But one such success is Rihanzu, who joined us in 2020. Actually, her first day was in July, mid-pandemic. Um, came in as a warehouse assistant, uh, but with great potential and capacity, just one of the youth that we have taken on through this initiative. And it's quite lively. It's actually quite encouraging because a lot of the youth have quite some interesting ideas and new ways and diverse way of thinking, which makes us a little bit more um, dynamic. And with her success story, she started as warehouse assistant, but now actually works with our holding company, Lizema, in pursuit of her finance career as a finance assistant. Another success story of sustainable choices made, actually, again, in 2020, we didn't have to, but we found it very important if we are going to be in a market where we can hold ourselves accountable, not just to our stakeholders or to our distributors, but to the very consumers that actually use our products on their skin, on their hair, that we need to be GMP certified. And we went on um, a beautiful journey that is also documented on our LinkedIn, where we became the first African cosmetic ingredient manufacturer in Africa to receive a globally recognized GMP certification. Something we didn't have to do, but something that was important if we're going to held, hold ourselves at such high standards, and it was quite interesting in 2020 because it was a whole disruptive disruption to business, how we do things, how we view the world. And we wanted to make sure that we have a tool that is globally recognized that could help us to really put these values into perfect perspective. We decided to follow like many other corporations um, in aligning our values and our sustainability goals to the United Nations Sustainability Goals of 2030. And this is something that we have also spoken about, but we will actually touch further on the sustainability goals, not just from an internal point of view, but from the products that we hold. Another thing that is quite, which I'd love to actually share, um, my colleagues are on the call and I'm not sure how they will feel about this, but I thought it's important if we are going to be scientists and formulators that actually work with these beautiful ingredients all around the world, regardless of where they come from, it's really important to understand the brand that you're actually dealing with. And I just wanted to show you a little touch that we did in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of being so disconnected and so socially um, apart, that partnership was a big 
drive and a big theme for us in 2020, which we carried on through to 2021 due to the success that it holds, but partnership also internally. And we found that by actually just appreciating appreciating each other a little bit more. It also helps to foster partnerships, not only externally, but internally. So have a look at the video. This is um, videos that were sent out throughout 2020 and the early parts of 2021. And these were shared by our CEO on our uh, company communication platform. We use WhatsApp. Um, and this was sent to everybody just so that everybody can just appreciate the people that they work with. Um, but also to just talk about, you know, what we don't know about them. I put in a few short clips just so you can see basically the heart of Cerebal. Sorry, let me see if I can play that video. Oh, technology is not with me today, Nicole. It refuses, so let me go back and see. Nope, it refuses. I think we'll actually try to get back to it because it just doesn't want to play. And it wanted to, it actually played before. Oh, there it is. Okay. I would like to nominate Philly Seaweb. This appreciation video goes to memory. So today I would like to send an appreciation video. I would like to nominate Tondo. Bo, 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 bo. I would like to nominate Bunolo. I'd like to um, give a shout out to Lily Siwe. Hi guys, this is an appreciation video for Oniwa. This message goes out to our dancing Daphne. I would like to appreciate our very own Mamzo or better known as Mam Kalosa. Ah. Perfect. Okay. Just a little insight into who you're basically um, purchasing your high performance ingredients from. Now, we were talking about the 2030 sustainability goals and us aligning it, but in terms of personal care, what does it mean? Um, in terms of global trends, clean beauty, we all know that clean beauty doesn't necessarily speak to natural products only, it speaks also to synthetics, but clean beauty basically means whatever product that you have does not have a negative impact on the consumer or the environment, sustainable sourcing, circular economy, and transparency, which is a huge thing. Um, in terms of our sustainability goals, we always Put them in the four pillars. That's how we make it easier to identify exactly what goal or what initiative we're really going for. So we have our human, environmental, social, and economic. But really what these are in terms of us as an ingredient manufacturer to our customers is that we aim to be really a solution provider for your high performance ingredients that can be trusted to really enhance the performance of your formulation. Um, sustainable sustainability doesn't just speak to the initiatives that you do, whether internal or external, but it really does speak to um, what value are you adding into the formulation. And I'm hoping this presentation will also touch on how we choose the products that we serve to, for the market um, are always aligned to these global trends and to what we stand for as Cerebel. Now, we are loved and approved globally by various brands. And the one thing that you will discover as soon as you start working with Cerebel ingredients is that they are very sticky. Uh, that's how our CEO likes to put it in that many of these customers have been with us probably from the beginning. And that's because our ingredients are meant to really impart uh, perfect performance, but also add a value functionally um, and I speak also to our synthetics as well, because, you know, when we're talking clean beauty and sustainability, it's easy to push the synthetics to the side, but not like the synthetic, our safe synthetic that we have, which actually is a synthetic, but behaves in a much more sustainable way. But more to that, besides the sustainability side, we're talking about an ingredient that provides beautiful integrity to your ingredient, giving a texture like no other. Um, where you could even use less ingredients in some applications based on that performance. 
global presence and uh, global partnerships ensure that we have multinational supply. And it's quite important to us as, re as we reflected on our values that our aim is really to align ourselves with partnerships that not only speak to the value, but speak to sustainability as a whole. Um, and this, I suppose I can't, the platform is, is not correct to actually speak up about this, but probably the changes that you've seen in North America speak to this, where um, it was quite important that just because we are selling ingredients, we actually want more partnership with markets where we can actually deliver some um, projects and um, challenges uh, to the fore, which we can actually help to alleviate and to assist with. Um, it's important as an ingredient manufacturer to not just really take orders and send them through. To us, partnerships means speaking and working with brands. And you'll see in the next presentations that are coming up, challenges that were provided to us and working in partnership with our customer to ensure that we can give them sustainable results, but also high performance um, in their formulations. But that can only come through by having strong partnerships globally, and that is definitely the pursuit that we are after. Now, in terms of Cerebell's portfolio, um, we cover waxes. So we will be talking about our synthetic wax and really why we call it a safe synthetic, but also a high performance ingredient. Um, we'll also be talking about two other natural, um, natural uh, waxes that offer beautiful performance just the same. Exfoliating spheres, encapsulating soft spheres, you would think that, okay, exfoliating spheres, I mean, you want color, you want to exfoliate, it stops there. But we actually proved that our spheres provide a much more premium user experience because of their shape and because of how we make them. Soft spheres basically speak to encapsulation technology and how using that can provide quite interesting user experience. And then we'll lastly touch on a few of our botanicals that also speak to that sustainable sustainability. Now, safe synthetic wax, this is, the part that actually gets me super excited as well, because we're talking about a synthetic wax, a safe synthetic wax that can easily replace a polyethylene, a microcrystalline, or even a uh, paraffin wax, um, not only from structural integrity, but really by the very way that it is um, structured. Also, the process is quite unique in that what you have is a natural gas to liquid manufacture where the synthetic, the safe synthetic is made from natural gas and not any of your uh, petroleum um, minerals. And this process makes it a much more cleaner um, and a much more uh, pure uh, production of wax because through the combination of natural gas, air, and which is run through a metal catalyst and distillated into the various melt point waxes, you actually find that the wax becomes pure in its form. And we'll look at the comparisons later. But you're looking at a cleaner alternative that actually offers much more versatility uh, because of its odorlessness because of its appearance being pure white, uh, because of its pH range stability, anything from about two to about um, 11, non-toxic. And as much as it's a safe synthetic and it is a synthetic wax, this wax is inherently biodegradable. And when it biodegrades, it doesn't biodegrade into any components other than carbon and hydrogen, making it much more sustainable compared to your polyethylene and compared to your paraffin and microcrystalline waxes. Now, in terms of trends or um, initiatives where we're looking at whether a synthetic wax is a good ingredient to use, we actually just have a little snippet that we took from the EWG verified website, where it is a consumer um, focused website where it is a database that has tons of inkies. And that database can basically give you a score between one and 10 of whether to use this ingredient or not. Synthetic wax gets a one, and that is the best score you can actually achieve 
And that's because of its non-toxic form, its inherent biodegradability. The fact that it's hypoallergenic can be used in baby care, sensitive skin. The fact that it's non-comedogenic, so can be used in face care as well and in color cosmetics. But the biggest thing, non-petroleum and doesn't have any possible contaminants in it. Now, when we talk about contaminants, we're really talking about sulfur compounds and polyaromatics that are commonly found in your petroleum-based waxes. So the safe synthetic, as we said, comes from natural gas, but because of this process, it makes it quite high in purity compared to the other mineral waxes. Very low reactivity, um, saturated linear hydrocarbons, and because of the saturated um, nature of this wax, that's why we are very confident to say that when it biodegrades, literally all that it biodegrades into is your carbon and hydrogens. The purification of this wax is physical, which is completely different from mineral waxes. Mineral waxes require a lot of solvent and require a lot of chemicals to actually get them to a color that the color cosmetics prefers. Our safe synthetic has no chemical process in order for purification. It's completely physical where we filter out um, any uh, deposits of some sort and you get a pure white wax that can really be used for various applications. Melt point similar to the other, but what makes this quite unique is that we actually have a low melting synthetic wax, 40 degrees Celsius that actually imparts beautiful properties and makes it quite an interesting wax to use in various applications. And in terms of hardness, similar to microcrystalline and viscosity obviously changes dependent on how long the chain is. So here we're really saying that you have a cleaner alternative to safe synthetic wax. And this synthetic wax has been around for quite a while. And probably most of you have come across uh, this synthetic wax in your favorite um, color cosmetics or your hair pomades or um, even in your exfoliants. Uh, because we use the safe synthetic for exfoliating spheres, but it's quite interesting to note that how a synthetic wax can be pure, but actually have functional properties more than just your normal mineral waxes. Added to this, our safe synthetic wax um, has shown some positive, not even some positive, but great results when it comes to a clinical study where we wanted to see really if this wax, uh, because of the film forming properties that it has, um, how good is it at keeping um, hydration within the skin? Um, and it was also tested again for skin smoothness and skin firmness. As much as this is just a synthetic wax, the hydration that it imparts in a formulation um, makes it quite ideal uh, because here we basically compared it to the industry standard of CCT. And we took basically a, um, uh, uh, this would be the base, and then we basically took a lotion that had 10% uh, caprylic acid in it. And then in this blue strip, we replaced 5% of the caprylic acid with our 5% of our Cerowax um, 60. And then on this dark blue one, we replaced the 5% CCT with our Cerowax 55. So these are two different, it's the same synthetic wax, but the different melt points. And we wanted to basically see if we can actually increase skin hydration by just replacing the formulation with 5%. Um, so why we say this is actually quite an awesome one, it means really whatever formulation that you have, um, the synthetic wax actually enhances um, the skin health based on, on just hydration. Because from this hydration, you can see there's actually also improved skin smoothness. And you can also see that there's an increased elasticity by just using our synthetic wax. Now, the beautiful thing about having partnerships, I alluded, this, uh, I alluded to this earlier on in the presentation, is uh, the challenge of actually seeing if our synthetic wax can help in performance, even though we use minimal ingredients in a formulation. And there's no tougher formulation to see if you can do this than lipstick. So we did a small lipstick palette study 
where we created our own cerebral formulation of a lipstick. You see it's 20% of the wax and a combination of our synthetic wax, our rice bran wax, and some emollient. Minimal um, nourishing ingredient, ingredients. And of course you have your flavor your, and also your um, uh, preservatives. On the right here, we wanted to compete to see if we take a very simple lipstick cerebral formulation and benchmark it against top brands to see how it performs either in Cineresis or in the performance later on that we do um, in terms of color retention. But for Cineresis, exactly. The biggest challenge that we had in our um, Southeast Asian uh, market was that they have a lot of lipstick, great formulations, but because of the high humidity and the heat there, they find that there's a lot of scenarios that happens in many of the lipsticks that are in, on the retail shelf. And we basically wanted to show them that by putting in just synthetic wax without all the other waxes, we didn't put any microcrystalline, no petroleum, nothing. Um, we just used our waxes with all other typical ingredients and pigment. And we wanted to basically show the market that just using synthetic wax, you can achieve the structural integrity, but you can also bind the oil into your formulation because the wax is so good at doing that. There's quite a lot of data actually that um, we have come up um, and have done in terms of synergesis. So please, if you are interested in more of this, please reach out to us or reach out to our primary distributor um, for more information and a report where we actually even do compatibility of our synthetic wax to other oils to ensure that there is compatibility, not just with silicone, but vegetable oils, essential oils and butters, et cetera. So here we took the lipsticks, three lipsticks, so two brands and ours. We formulated and poured it into a small tub. We melted down the benchmarks into tabs as well place them in the oven at 55 degrees Celsius and observe to see if there'll be scenarios or any pigment separation or color bleeding. We, there's a score chart that we used to test if, um, to basically just mark the three uh, tabs. And five basically is a high score. That means there's no scenarios, there's good structural integrity, one being fully molten and therefore it failed. And here's the result. With brand one, which also contains synthetic wax, there was still structural integrity, even though it was a much more softer one, as you can see with the dip here, but there was still a little bit of uh, color separation. And again, there was quite a lot of waxes that were used. Synthetic wax was actually used quite minimally compared to the other waxes. So what you're finding is that yes, synthetic wax is there. So I suppose the structural integrity is there, but still it can do better. Brand two, which didn't have any synthetic wax at all in it, showed some scenarios where there is actually some oil components at the top, but also in terms of structure and integrity, it wasn't really so great. And then when you look at the cerebral formulation with just 20% wax blend, we actually achieved good structural integrity and no scenarios was observed. This is the graph just showing the results. Um, basically measuring how much oil you find at the top. And as you can see, the brand that has no synthetic wax had no uh, structural integrity or any oil binding strength in it. We decided to test this a little bit further by saying, okay, maybe we're lucky with this one. We're okay, we're not that lucky. We knew it was gonna do well, but we wanted to also test it in terms of performance. And again, Cerebel is about that high end performance. So we took, a formulation, and we tried to get really serious with this one because we put 35% of wax in there, and that's a combination of synthetic wax um, and sativa, um, Orizon sativa, rice bran wax, with our emollient and some cetal sterile alcohol, and we put in some oil, of course, for some um, hydration and your pigment and your preservative. We took another top brand that had synthetic wax um, in it, but again, a very long um, inky, I mean, typical in your lipstick, you would have a pigment dispersant, you have you know, ingredients in there that help with hydration, like the aloe vera, for example. Um, you have quite a large combination of various waxes. And we basically wanted to see, again, a simplified 
simple lipstick that has minimal stuff, no silicone, no anything um, that is really used by top brands and to see how it basically measures. We have, I didn't put the full detail of this um, uh, 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 palette lipstick, uh, the study, uh, but we do have more information if you're actually interested to see exactly each and every performance um, indicator that we showed. But the most interesting that we found was that color retention um, as much as our uh, Cerebel lipstick was performing quite in line with the retail bench um, benchmark, we found that color retention was quite an interesting one. So volunteers, again, a very small palette study, four volunteers were given two lipsticks. So right here on this left side of the lips was the retail benchmark. On the right, you have our Cerebel lipstick. And it was quite interesting that at zero hours, there wasn't much comparables, it looked quite the same. And again, without any use of silicone or any pigment dispersants, um, it didn't look quite bad. And then what happened is that the ladies were taking pictures four hours after applying the lipstick, and again, six hours after applying the lipstick to see if the lipstick still retained in color. And we were quite happy to see that our simple lipstick without any fixative dispersant silicones or anything like that still performed even in color. We also did um, a test on hydration where our lipstick shows um, increased hydration as well, basically confirming what we showed earlier. However, the nice element is um, uh, seeing that performance just in color and pigment is just as strong as well. There's more details on this um, report if you need. The next wax, which speaks to sustainable sustainability, is actually a byproduct in a food manufacturing process, and that is the sugar process. Um, this is a simple representation in terms of how uh, we process the, the sugar cane wax. Um, what makes this unique from other sugar cane, which um, typically found in India, is that our process uses simple um, water and steam to basically extract affluent and the raw wax from the process, making it much cleaner. Um, in fact, it maintains a food grade, which makes it perfect for lip color cosmetics. But the unique factor about this wax is the palmitic acid, the nourishing factor, and also the montanic acid, the thermal stability factor. We tested this in terms of performance as well, especially since it, when it comes to wax, the biggest important thing is how well does it bind to the oil and how well does it bind to the pigments. What we found um, is that the sugarcane low melt point compared to the other two waxes that we were comparing it with, namely beeswax and our own synthetic wax 55, was that not only did it provide high gloss in this lip balm formulation, but very strong oil binding capabilities because we did the same scenarios um, that we did with typical lipstick, put it at 55 degrees Celsius. And even though it was molten, there was no separation with pigment or with oil in terms of the wax. Another high performance uh, wax is our natural rice bran wax. Um, again, uh, a sustainable product because of its upcycled ingredient um, the profile, similar to the sugarcane wax. And here, not just the sustainability story, but the performance against other natural hard um, waxes. And again, the sustainability story coming through because here we actually have a success um, in Germany because they wanted to make their sunscreen a little bit more sustainable. They successfully replaced the ozocorite wax one-to-one -one, as far as we know. And it was because it is a much cleaner and a much sustainable ingredient compared to ozocorite wax. In terms of performance, again, oil binding ability, um, the rice brand was compared to the Canuba and regardless of dosage, so we basically took rice bran um, or Canuba and added CCT oil to it. There's a 50-50% oil ratio here, 30-70 and 10-90. And regardless of the percentage, our rice bran outperformed the Canuba wax every time, making it also quite interesting for stick formulations. 
Exfoliating spheres, and again here, I actually wanna say we call them spheres, not beads. Uh, we call them spheres because of the perfect round shape that they have. The beautiful thing about the safe synthetic wax and the rice brand is that they hold pigment very well. And as we've shown with the lipstick results, uh, the safe synthetic is quite superior, bringing very bright colors, where now you can actually have the versatility of beautiful colors and aesthetics, but also functionality. When we say functionality, we actually mean it. Perfectly round compared to others exfoliants that are, and these are mechanical exfoliants on the market, under the microscope, you get to see that the spheres are perfectly round, which actually speaks to the user experience. There is a study that was done by um, a university in Thailand, and this was the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science, and they basically wanted to see, well, they call them beads, we call them spheres, but they wanted to see the user experience and if there will be skin hydration after using these types of mechanical exfoliation. This here is the result of our ingredients. Um, so here they took our Cero Wax Black, uh, put it in a gel base and compared it to purified water. Then they used the same gel base to put in polyethylene beads, mannan beads, and ours showed a higher gain in skin hydration after use because of the perfect spherical shape of the spheres. Not only that, there was also a um, a measure, a change in skin hydration. Our wax offered a 32.97% change in skin hydration by using our spheres because of the shape. Not only that, our spheres are pH stable. This is results showing at pH 3 or at pH 10. Um, after two weeks in solution, there is no leaching of colors because of the waxes holding on to the pigment quite well. Our wax matrix encapsulation, um, a beautiful way to put in some aesthetic design. Um, I see I am very conscious of time. So I would love to basically just show you why we love this soft spheres because it's really about the user experience. Now our soft sphere matrix encapsulation, it's, ooh, oh goodness gracious me. Um, it's the spheres that come hard. So when you receive them, they're quite hard. They almost look like our exfoliating spheres, but they self soften in formulation. And you can put it either for aesthetic design or to actually encapsulate various other actives such as vitamins. Here we encapsulated some mica for some shimmer and sparkle. And we found that it is quite a nice one to introduce a bit of user experience without compromising the integrity of your formulation. Here we put it in very clear formulation. As you can see, there's no leaching. And also on top of that, the spheres retain their shape. They do not lose any shape. Uh, so they became, they still uh, maintain the perfectly round um, shape in your formulation. So providing just that extra touch um, to your formulation without compromising the performance of your base. African Botanicals, this is our joint partnership with uh, Botanica, uh, an agro-processor or our farmer who provides us five um, African um, ingredients beautiful sustainability story. We share more of this on our website where we have webinars that speak more to what sustainability means for this. I'm only gonna to touch on the three um, in terms of the sustainability story um, and the impacts that they have. But not only that, again, Cerebel is a high performance ingredient manufacturer. We do have access to a number of African botanicals, but we always make sure to be very clear that whatever ingredient that we add, even if it's natural, has to be in line with our high performance um, standards. So what basically it means is that you get beautiful sustainable um, ingredients because of how they are processed. For example, our Balbean frutescence has a beautiful circular um, economy story where it is basically harvested while well, it's planted and it is a drought resistant um, plant. So it doesn't really need much watering, harvested, processed and all the, the plants or the 
basically squashed plant is resent to the field for replanting. So there's minimal wastage in creating or harvesting this um, or producing balbean frutescence. Uh, let me just go back. But the beautiful story again is its performance. Uh, a South African university, the University of Edwatersrand, did a pharmaceutical study that showed the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits of this ingredient. Not only that, this ingredient works with your um, HUP3 and your keratinocytes to produce enhanced skin hydration and skin elasticity, skin bare recovery, and skin wound healing. Again, an ingredient that has a sustainability story but has a high performance story to it. Another high performance um, ingredient is the Kalahari melon seed oil. Um, it's a vegetable oil. And so people go, well, vegetable oils don't really have, you know, it's not really an active. So how can it be high performing? This one is an interesting one because Kalahari melon seed oil has close to 60 and maybe even more than 60% of linoleic acid. And Kalahari melon seed oil has a very high concentration of vitamin E as well. The linoleic acid has been found to have great positive impact on the skin, and it also is a non-irritant. The great thing is also can be used for people that have sensitive skin eczema and even for baby care. But the biggest thing is actually um, your acne uh, problem. So 2020, knowing that linoleic acid is quite high in Kalahari melon seed oil, I actually present myself as a success story because in 2020, I was super attacked by adult acne. And despite all the efforts, nothing worked. And fortunately, knowing how our KMS is used already in um, a beautiful indie brand in Mexico for acne treatment, I used the oil and these are the results. I do apologize, these are not very professional or very scientific. But, you know, you take some, when you take your work personally, like me, um, you tend to just put your heart on your sleeve and say, listen, um, I love the product. People should know that it actually works. And just using Kalahari melon seed oil was able to clear up my acne. But here's the biggest story that is really, really important to us and why we really partnered with Botanica for these uh, beautiful African ingredients. They have an outgrower project for the Moringa oil. Um, here is a video that basically represents that partnership and its impact in the local community. I'm Sam Sarumina. You are in Ari village. I'm the supplier of Botanica for the Moringa. I start this with Wally. Uh, he asked me to do that. He said to me, do uh, a sample. I start with 10, which was a sample. I take it to him to show him. And then he did like it. He said to me, please, you can make thousands. I make thousands. After I make thousands, after he sealed, thousand, that thousand is so very beautiful, very nice. He said, no, make 300. 300,000. I want to part of this program because I can see this is going to help the community. Well, my dream is to employ about 10 families to supply the seed and the wind from my land because so far I've got the land. Once I plan that, I knew I'm going to supply all of them from Bodhinika, uh, from my plan. You can survive, you work hard to get what you need. You must work for, you must sweat for what you need. The community people, please, please start to see this is life. It's not a joke because I'm the one I did start from nothing. We will could see that skills that he give to me. I can see you. If something is different that, like, than before. Take example for me. I'm saying, community, please, please, forget to lose the money, look for a job, look for a work, than the money. Because when you work, the money is going to come inside. 
There's no way the money can come without uh, working. And try to work hard and love your work, and then things gonna come to you. A beautiful story, and I'm excited to say that uh, Botanica will be extending the outgrower project to the Kalahari melon seed oil and the Marula um, oil, and meaning basically more impact for the community and ensuring that economic upliftment. So again, speaking to uh, a beautiful product, but it doesn't mean that in performance it doesn't shine. Uh, there's a study that was done, um, again, a pharma Ecology, um, pharmacology department uh, in Brazil that looked at Moringa oil and found that the oil accelerates chronic skin wound healing. And on top of that, the oil has a high stability. And this is actually a representation of that. When Moringa outperforms any other, whether it's jojoba, macadamia, um, sunflower, marula, outperforms all these oils in terms of oxidative stability, and that speaks to thermal stability, meaning you can use it in your lipsticks where you have high heat um, uh, uh, production process, and also to help stabilize the oils in your other formulation. Um, a beautiful story, a beautiful product, again speaking to how you, the products that you produce and the choices that you make um, as a business define the lifestyle that ensures that sustainability is continued. We're not the only one. I'd like to end this presentation on a very sweet note because I am a huge chocoholic. We're not the only company that is doing this. And that is the important thing is that um, you have business that are actively making daily decisions, whether it is the products that they produce or how they engage with, you know, their colleagues to their partners to ensure that sustainability doesn't just stop at the environment, but speaks to being a little bit more human or inevitably, basically, us caring a little bit more than um, we did yesterday. So this is a beautiful story of a South African chocolate uh, manufacturer, the Davilius chocolate. It's a vegan chocolate that tastes divine. As a chocoholic, I mean it. But they have a very similar story as well, which is inspirational because it basically means more and more of us are making those good decisions that ensure that sustainability is not just a trend, but a story that we can tell for generations to come. And that is it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Hi, it's Sherry from Yankee Candle Company. This hi, your, hi. your presentation is absolutely delightful, emotionally compelling, and a lot of good science goes into it. Um, in the US, do we get samples? Can we get them directly from you or do we have to go through DKSH? Uh, we have our primary uh, uh, distributor, Barron's. Barron's basically takes care of the portfolio in terms of waxes and various ingredients. So you can either di order directly from us or you can reach out to Barron's uh, for your sample requirement. It's really up to you. Um, but yes, we are available in the US. So I would actually say contact parents um, for, your, for your waxes and your bulk of your cerebral requirements. Thank you. And uh, another one about how much more expensive are your synthetic waxes than paraffinic waxes just in um, multiples? Can you give an estimate of that, please? Sherry, if I... If you asked me this two years ago, I would say, well, our synthetic wax is a premium wax. So it is uh, meant to be premium because of the way that it behaves. But with the recent prices and the, you, you know about the supply chain disruptions that we've had, um, mm -hmm. we would actually say, please reach out to our primary distributor, have a discussion. They can let you know. Uh, but we always say, even though it's premium, it actually is reduces a lot of the ingredients that you use in your formulation, making it more cost-effective um, from that comparison 
And also the user experience um, is you basically enhancing the performance of your formulation without a doubt. Um, so have a conversation with uh, Barron's, um, get some pricing from them, give us your feedback as well. So don't disappear, ask them, challenge them, engage them, and um, come back to us and let us know what you think in terms of how we fit. Uh, but I'd love for you to really try it out because it is a sensorial type of wax. It delivers a beautiful feel. Um, not only just in skincare, but we're talking hair care, we're talking various applications. Um, so get in touch with, with parents, have a conversation with them, um, and let us know what you think. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, is there any other questions from the floor? Oh, we just had one. Oh, Joy was just saying, great job. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice presentation and she thanks you. Perfect. Thank you. And please, um, I do implore you to, if you want more information in terms of the stories, the daily decisions we make, who we are, what we do and the products, uh, visit our LinkedIn page, reach out to us, uh, go on our website. Um, you, are, you feel free to also reach out to parents for my contact details. If you have more questions, um, any thoughts, please, we love that engagement and we do appreciate um, working with the industry to get some really beautiful um, applications out there to the consumer. Okay, there is no more questions. Thank you, Timby. It, it was wonderful. Perfect. Thank you so much and a great day to everybody else. Hope you have an awesome day further. And for anyone who wants to know, we will be at the NYSCC. So please feel free to pop in and say hi, I will be there and we can talk more about high performance and safe ingredients for sustainability. I look forward to finally meeting you in person. <laughs> Same, yeah. Thanks a lot, Nicole, take care. Thank you, everybody. Cheers, bye.